Morrison Formation dates to the late Jurassic of North America. Whilst massive sauropod dinosaurs, like the Camarasaurus, are the dominant animals here, other species coexist with them. The iconic Stegosaurus is among them, a strange kind of dinosaur with large plates emerging from its back. These plates did not serve a defensive purpose and instead could be used in temperature regulation. These dinosaurs have an incredibly small head in comparison to its body size, one of the smaller brain sizes of any dinosaur. A smaller member of the sauropod group is the Camarasaurus. These sauropod dinosaurs have shorter necks and a rounder snout, adaptations to browsing on trees. They eat the conifer leaves in the forest along with cycads and ferns, though the latter two are preferred by other species that live out on the plains. A melanistic Allosaurus is searching the plains. A Stegosaurus is a very risky animal to take on. Nevertheless, he charges in for the attack. Elsewhere, another Allosaurus is trying its luck with a Camarasaurus. Evidently, it's bigger than even what he can chew.
Dinosaurs cannibalizing each other is a potentially uncommon, but not non-existent, occurrence. A coparion, a primitive troodontid, joins in with the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus has been trying to catch a Dryosaurus, where the Coparion has failed. Small dance will only provide a moderate amount of food for this predator. The Torvosaurus is the largest predator here, and it is a kind of megalosaurid theropod. The apex predator prowls the plains looking for prey, only the larger sauropods are safe. At 10 meters long, this is the largest predator known at this time. And a related species is the largest land carnivore to ever live in Europe, where they also occur in the Portuguese Lourinha formation.
The Allosaurus is one potential prey animal here. To predators, often fighting a tooth and claw will allow them to eat one another, as opposed to their common prey.